Today we're going to look at a way of going above our partner's head when we're in the seated position, when we're wearing the gi, to effect a version of the loop choke, which is one of the strongest front attacks that we can, we can institute when we're using the gi. The corollary with the gi is the front headlock in no gi. All right? And although you can do front headlock position in the gi, it's silly not to take advantage of the fact that your partner basically has a rope around their neck the whole time you're grappling. So the way that we're gonna, we're gonna do this is, rather when we're facing a partner seated on their knees, okay, rather than trying to like launch ourselves up over our partner, which I think is sometimes tempting, you know, especially if you get your partner uh, down a little bit and you wanna kinda stand up and throw your body over the top, either to enter the front headlock, and you see people doing this from the standing position, or to enter the loop, we're gonna create forward motion on our partner to bring their head down before we begin the action of heisting up. So we'll start with our partner. In this case, I'm going to tuck the inside leg in. The second hand is posting. Now, uh, if I am concerned about his advancing forward, I'll make sure his hand is back, like kind of behind my hip. If not, because I'm going to want to move out to my side here, it's okay for me to place this hand a little bit more lateral rather than uh, in, a, in a line that's between the two of us. Okay, so your partner is here. You're going to take a cross grip and we're going to give a snap. So this is a lot like a snap down with no gi. We're going to move our hips back, and we're going to snap. We're drawing our partner forward. At the same time, we're going to move up to our knees here. Now we're going to show the loop by taking our, our elbow wide. All right, so initially you have this snap. Your head is above your partner's head. That's your cue that it's time to go. Then you're going to force the loop by placing your shoulder over your partner's shoulder here. So we give the snap, putting our hands on the floor. Under their chin, over the top, then we're gonna dig our head into the side here. So you can come around this side so everybody can see. So the head goes inside this space. We're gonna go right here. And if we can, we're gonna effect a, a sort of Olympic roll position where the goal is to get our head to the inside. You may not always be able to do this, but we wanna get our head pretty close rather than on top here. And when we roll, our head's gonna get smushed like a melon. So we keep our head to the inside. The second head is going behind his arm in front of his bicep. You'll see when we land. Now we're going to roll and we're going to turn, taking our partner through like so. This hand that's already on the bicep is going to spear behind our partner's head. And this is a very nice strangler you see sometimes in judo as well. If you look at the right choking arm here, okay, my wrist is bent. I want to straighten it. If you bend your wrist too much on these loop chokes, often you'll oftentimes you'll feel some pressure because the hands, the wrist starts to roll back almost like a, uh, like a wrist lock. So you want to be careful about keeping a strong wrist as best you can. So we come out with a partner, we get a grip, we post, we give a snap, taking care to get our leg out of the way. As we snap here, boom, we bring our partner's head down below our head, we form the loop. Now we place our head to the inside, we roll, we land here, both of us facing the sky. Our hand goes behind our partner's head, we put the back of our hand across the back of our partner's head, and we begin to walk in. I focus on flaring the wrist and keeping everything tight. You get a super tight version of this loop choke strangle. So, Again, the corollary here, if we were doing no gi, I would take a collar tie, look to snap, and then front headlock position. Out of this, we would go guillotines and then Olympic rolls. But here, because we have the collar, it makes sense to play a little bit snap and then go directly into the head over head position. So hopefully this, whether you're doing gi or no gi, this is helpful for you to get a sense of where you want to have your, your head relative to your partner's head. This loop choke, very, very tight. I mean, you see these examples of it now. In a, among high level practitioners, where when people get the loop locked in, the shoulder is over the shoulder, uh, you, you can, the guy can even stand up on you, and there's you know, highlight reels of this happening where a guy has a loop choke and the person's standing up with him. The person who did his name escapes me, but uh, it's just a testament to the, the, the depth and the power of this, of this choke, this triangle. So, anyways, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and uh, share, us, share your thoughts with us. Okay,